Let's take a look at the Hot Wheels Pop and Play Drive-In Bank. It's one of the Pop and Play series of play sets that were available back in 1988. As we look at the back of the package, down here you can see it says uh, 1988. The contents are one Hot Wheels car, drive through Teller Island, accessory, and one Pop and Play building set. Now on the back you see the uh, police station, and that's the one right there. Uh, schoolhouse. I have other videos for those. Construction company, but this one was not one of the three featured on the back of the package. And it, when you look at the back of this package here too, it still has the same three. Construction company, schoolhouse, police station. The other interesting thing is there's two different color packages available. I'm not sure. Uh, I wasn't collecting back in 1988, so I don't know why they have two different styles. Not only that, if you look right here, this one references the Stow and Go sets, and this one over here does not. This one kind of looks like an older packaging for some reason, but both of them say 1988 on the back, so they were both released at the same time. So I don't know if one of these were international. I don't think so. I don't know if one was international, or maybe they were offered through different retailers, but uh, Mattel did wind up, the Stow and Go name is from the 80s but going into the 90s they did use the uh, stow and go names so i'll be looking i did the burger stand already so it's interesting that this one doesn't have the uh, stow and go name if you know why i post a comment and uh, if you want to know why look at uh, if if hopefully somebody can post the answer and then we all can learn so check the comments there'll be people posting some uh, good information look kmart four dollars and ninety seven cents so back in 88 a little five dollar play set that's what it is has the same thing on each side let me go ahead and uh, open it up i'm a big fan of these uh, ultra hot wheels on the corvette here's our uh, stickers uh oh, one of the stickers wound up being right on the crease. That uh, might not be a good thing because uh, I did the construction company and the same thing happened to where one of the stickers, actually these two were on the crease, this one's still flat, but this one popped up. I put it on the, the construction company set and unfortunately look, uh, it's popping up, uh, popping up, popping play. It's popping up, so I'm gonna have to put some uh, scotch tape tape down that bottom part it'll be good as new and let's see let's go ahead and see we have the uh, door this is the first time that the door was not attached this one's a uh, different hey that's interesting it shows the driveway here but when you look over here there's a there's no driveway right there huh that's interesting but it still has the uh, same uh, configuration as the other place it's got the uh, four holes so it looks like they all use the same base but let me go ahead and get the uh, there you go pop and play I'll go ahead and get the stickers on and I'll be right back let's take a look at the Corvette for a moment beautiful red uh, metal flake paint job very nice tan interior it's got the uh, left hand steering wheel No tampos on the front or the rear. Now the base, if you see it says a 83 Custom Corvette. Uh, I, it actually wasn't released with that name, I don't believe. Um, I found two names that this model was released under. Here is the uh, Tropical Series. This is from 1998. It was released under the uh, name of the car. They used the name Corvette convertible and you can find other releases as custom Corvette but this model uh, actually was final run in 1999 so you won't see it anymore but if you are looking for it uh, you know search for the name custom Corvette or Corvette convertible silly me when I seen this uh, drive through right here I thought that the normal flat part was gone from like the other play sets. I thought it was just a building and then the drive-through part, but I didn't notice in the back right there. 
Yeah, it has the same base as the other releases. As you can tell, but it doesn't use, it doesn't have anything for these features here. No, uh, nothing to pop in. It doesn't have a little policeman like the other sets. It just has this uh, opening drive through. And what's interesting, I thought it was kind of interesting too that they called it um, a drive in bank. Called it a drive in bank, but really it's a, it's a drive through. You don't drive in, do you? I don't know any banks where you actually drive in it like that, but uh, kind of interesting. Did they used to call it, uh, for you uh, like me, some of you guys, uh, in the late 80s, did they call them drive-in banks? Maybe they did, and I, I just don't know. I don't recall them being called that. Drive-through banks. We got a couple drive-through banks here in Southern California. This is the only uh, pop-and-play playset so far that had kind of this... Nice little uh, opening uh, feature that kind of added to the building. The other ones, they had uh, features that you added here, like the construction co company. Your dump truck, your cement truck would back up right here, and then you'd pretend to be filling it up with the cement. Or the police station had a little ramp for you to uh, propel the car. And the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse had a little uh, traffic cop so that uh, he would warn people that the school bus had kids nearby. This one here, nothing, doesn't have anything there. Just has this uh, neat little feature to open a drive through That's cool. I kind of like that better, actually, because it makes it very unique. My finger's a little big. I guess if you're a kid, you'd be able to pull that and get it open. Me, i got to flip it over. Fingers are too big. So, there's the uh, door. Let's compare the doors. Oh, I put the door on backwards. Look at that. Silly goose. Let me go ahead and get this thing off of here. It popped off when I was putting it together. And then, uh, there you go. Let's put it in. And of course, you already know this from my other videos. That This is why they, they call them stow and goes. It's because you can put your car in there and then you, you stow it and then you go. Head wherever you're going to go. You're not going to lose your car unless it pops open. Let's go ahead and come on out. So let's compare the doors to the other sets. It's uh, is it? It looks like it's like the uh, it's just like the uh, construction company playset. It's the same, same as the uh, schoolhouse, police, same. They all have the same doors, uh, but the roofs. I've always found it interesting to look at the roof. Of course, since this one's a bank drive-in bank uh, <laughs> this way you can't break in they got no roof structures like they do on the other sets to where you can see inside this one uh, you, of course it's a bank you got to be protected you can't let people sneak in through the roof and rob the bank there I don't know if I gave you guys a closer look at the uh, stickers I know I showed you the uh, sticker sheet but I'll go ahead and put it oh yeah by the way that one remember that one sticker was kind of folded well, because I know it's going to do like this one here on the construction company. I know it's going to pop up. So what I went ahead and did, it's kind of hard to tell. You can see it, but I put, see the scotch tape? I went ahead and scotch taped this one down so this way it'll sit there. So anyways, that's a look at the drive-in bank. Comes with this cool Corvette. Custom Corvette or Corvette convertible. But the base says 83 Custom Corvette. So if you're searching for other representations of this model, it's long gone. 1999 was the first release, and there will not be any more because they made it a final run, which means final, done. They can't do it no more. Thank you for watching my uh, review of the Drive-In Bank. If you got time to watch another video, you can check out my construction company review of that pop-and-play playset, or... Hey, Matchbox, they made a bank alarm playset. You can click on that image. Hey, check out this little uh, mushroom, Amanda. She uh, crocheted it for me. I'm sure you guys know where that mushroom comes from. Uh, you can click on the real working rig to see a real working rig video. So, there's three choices for you. And maybe I'll show you my zombie someday, too. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>